Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture three. In this lecture, you will achieve your first proudness, just like when you first learning computer programming language. Hello world is your first achievement. Let's have a look at the join here. Here there's one join. There's all of this linear dimension here. And we will learn how to make turn stack up and get value of a and b first the linear tolerance has different forms sometimes there's a limit tolerance such as upper limit and low limit and sometimes it's plus minus it could be equal bilateral or could be unequal bilateral So you can see there's different forms of tolerance here. We're going to try to make this kind of different tolerance and make a calculation to find out A and B. The process of make tolerance stack up in this case is first, you need to define what is the tolerance you try to find it out. So always here is A and B. Second, What's the direction? Is horizontal or is it vertical? The answer is horizontal. It's not vertical. That means everything which is vertical, you do not need to consider them. So you can just remove them. It's useless, right? This one is not related to A and B, the distance of A and B. Next. All of these dimensions and torrents here has different impact to A and B. For example, here, this 15 plus minus 1.0. If you make this dimension bigger, then the A and B will be smaller. So that means this one, we call this negative. We call this negative dimension. This is definition of the negative dimension. And next one, 75, this dimension. If you increase this 75, for example, to 76, then AB will be increased. So that means we call this positive. And this is very important to assign the positive and the negative property because we are going to learn, we are going to use this in the tolerance stack up forms. Later, we'll use that one. Next, we try to link all of these tolerance and dimensions together. How to make this one? We make, try to make a loop. First, we make A and B. At one end, there's orange. The other one, there's a head arrow here. So this direction is to right. But which is really doesn't matter. We can try the direction to the left later. We'll try that later. But so far, we just make this direction to the right. All right. Next one. We will link all of these dimensions. And to the head. And to the head. And from here to here, you see, it's closed linked together. And eventually you will get a dimension chain. And within that, every dimension has a direction, either to this direction, same as AB, or to this direction, different to the AB, right? Oh, we'll see here. Next one, number it. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Next one, we are going to find which one is positive and which one is negative. Based on our definition, this one increased and make AB larger. So here is positive. You may notice the direction of this dimension is opposite to AB. You see, AB 
this direction and but here 75 is here is opposite so we make a conclusion any dimension with opposite direction comparing with AB then it's positive let's repeat that again if it's opposite direction to AB then it's positive or put other way it's the same direction is the same direction as a and b then it's going to be negative so this is one of the way you can help you easily to assign the negative and positive you could have the other way but for me i would say it's one of the one of the way that is make you easily to define positive and the negative i repeat that again the definition is based on the direction is the same as a b or is different as a b if it's the same then you put it negative that's it okay so you can see here negative neg negative you may ask what about a b direction i make the, uh, this way the initial direction a b i go from this direction and go this direction you can get another loop dimension chain here it won't change to the positive and the negative why before this one is the same direction as AB. Even you change the initial direction of AB to the left. And this one still same direction as AB. So it's still negative. Right? So it won't change the positive and the negative sign. So it's clear, right? So once we have the positive and negative and it has all of the dimension the tolerance numbered next one we can fill in the forms here is the forms which we will use these forms frequently later okay we have all of this information here so we try to fill in form here is the number and here is the description and here positive dimension put it here negative dimension put it here in different line okay and here tolerance you should put every tolerance in this column so let's try to try to again number one is 15 is minus so here it's negative here 15 all right you don't have to put a negative sign here because it's automatic negative here the next one tolerance is plus minus 1.0 so tolerance put it here 1.0 you don't put plus minus here it's automatic plus minus here next one this one is negative the tolerance here is limit tolerance we should change to the plus minus equal bilateral so equal bilateral tolerance so how could we change that here is 16.5 the next one is plus minus 0.5 so this is number two that means all of these different these different uh, tolerance we should switch transformed to the plus minus equal bilateral so equal bilateral tolerance you're going to ch transform it so next one here number three is 75 is positive so you need to change that so here switch to 70 74.5 right and plus minus 1.5 right the next one here changes negative 26.5 plus minus 0 0.5 that's all you need to fit in in these forms the next what you need to do you add all of these positive dimensions here and you get a value here you total them and also you try to total everything here you try to figure it out so we have a number here is here is 58 so we add total all of this negative dimension is 58 here and here we total all of this tolerance 
here is 3.5. 3.5. You may notice that tolerance is always added together, is always accumulated together. There's no positive or negative for tolerance. Positive and negative only applied to dimensions. Notice here. So dimensions is positive and there's a negative, but for tolerance is over the same column here. All right, now we have this value and have this value. We use this one minus this one. And you get the next one here, 16.5. Right? Use this one and minus this one, you get this one here. Now we have the answer. The answer here is 16.5 plus minus 3.5. Right? Then minimum is what? 3, 13 and maximum is 20. That's the final answer. This is the whole process to make torrent stack up. So review this again. This one, we have the join here and we try to figure out which dimension is involved, is related to the issues we try to calculate is AB. The next one, we need to find out the positive and negative in the number then, right? We call this analysis. Definitely you should analyze this one. Tolerance analysis or dimension, dimension and tolerance analysis, you have to analyze it. The next one is calculation, right? So there's two steps. Step number one is analysis. Step number two is calculation. And the step number one is always the most important because this is the input for these forms, right? If we determine the wrong, you know, dimension tolerance and determine the wrong positive and the negative sign, then we will get incorrect answers here all right and this forms is easy we, we, we can always make this as an excel chart right you just fill in the data and you will get the answer here all right so this is whole process for this torrent stack up it looks simple but we are going to use the same process for the complicated cases later especially when we learn the geometric tolerance and then we're going to use the same forms and process all right here's the answer this is the same result as we calculated in the previous slide okay you may notice there's something here contributions so how we get this value as we mentioned here is the total tolerance of variation here you just use this each tolerance, you know, divided by this one, and then you will get a percentage. That means for this tolerance is roughly about 29% of the total variations here. And this variation uh, may just for your information, it doesn't mean if it's bigger, you have to change that. That, that doesn't mean that because even the percentage is high, but there's so many different factors related to the tolerance, such as the function, such as the uh, manufacturing process. So we cannot make decision that based on this, only based on this percentage, if there's issues, we should change this. We should consider other factors here. All right. Here's the whole process here, as we mentioned before. Here's the final chart. The chart will be attached in the comments in this lecture. So you can find the attached file in this lecture here. I have a brief 
review with these forms. You may use this form later during your day work. Here, you have used this one here. You put positive dimension here and the negative dim uh, dimension here and the tolerance here, right? And here, there's contrib contribution. There are some columns here we haven't used yet. We will learn this later. It's related to the statistic tolerance stack up. All right. And here you may use this chart to some programs, to some product to solve some issues. And there are some objectives here, right? And there's some stack number, date, revision, a direction means X, Y, it could be, you know, any direction you define that. And there are some notes and there's assumptions. And it's very important to make some assumption here, right? Quite a lot of tolerance stack up is based on some assumptions, right? And then some actions. If there, if there are some issues and it's something you need to correct it. So what's action, right? All right. Thanks for watching. We will practice in the next module.